Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and we have been racking up on some amazing Deer Valley homes. This right here is the Oasis, and we filmed an Oasis in the past, but this one has some different styling to it. it has beautiful gray, grayish beige style vinyl siding on the exterior. It has the wood farm style shutters, the beautiful croft double paned windows, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and walk right in here and take a look around. This is another wow factor when you get inside, guys. Here we go. Talk about open floor plan. This is it right here. Stand right here in the corner and give y'all a slow pan around. And you're gonna love the ceiling in this kitchen, by the way. It is something to see. Before we go too far into the door though, let's go ahead and look down at the floor. This is that beautiful vinyl flooring that looks like tile. You will notice right over here that the heat and air conditioning is in the floor. The focal point in this living room, other than this beautiful kitchen, is going to be this wonderful electric fireplace. That electric fireplace allows for the beauty of what appears to be a real fire without all of the nastiness of wood and embers and sparks and you know, that kind of stuff that you got to worry about. And you see that there's a plug above the mantle there. And that's because you can put your TV up there as well. You do have two good sized windows right there next to the door where we walked in. And you could definitely set your furniture up in multiple ways in here. We're going to go ahead and pan around. Over here is the master bedroom. We're not going to head in there yet. We're going to walk right into the kitchen. And holy cow, guys. Take a look at this. That ceiling is a showstopper if I've ever seen one. Look at that. My wife would love that basket. <laughs> I'm going to pan around and let y'all take a look at how it is. It almost looks like it's its own separate room. I've never seen a ceiling that didn't slope or that wasn't flat on the second side of a home. This has a secondary pitch in it with the beams and tongue and groove. And that is real wood, guys. That is phenomenal. Sorry to go on and on about that ceiling, but I, I love that wood look. So let's go ahead and start in the kitchen right here. The first door on the right is going to be, you guessed it, the pantry. And this pantry has wood shelves. And guess what? That wood ceiling continues on into here. And this is a massive pantry with all the room in the world. that You could store enough food in there to last you to Armageddon. <laughs> Right here on this side, you have the beautiful white cabinets. It does have an accent vent hood right here that is black. And I like that. It actually makes it kind of pop with the ceiling. It has a beautiful tile backsplash. As you can see, these are GFCI rated plugs. So you don't have to worry about if something splashes up in there and you know having a short out or something like that. I love the countertops. They look like marble. These are gonna be the deep drawers that are all 20 inches deep that have soft clothes does have Frigidaire appliances in here. They are stainless steel. We're going to showcase the island last in just a second. It is a single basin sink with a darker style faucet. Did the heat test. It works. And as you can see right here, it does have windows above that sink that do open. Here's your fridge right over here. You have the darker cabinet above the fridge as well. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and talk about the price. Two ten nine. Now, as you can see, it was two twenty four. It has been discounted. The thing is, this right here is subject to change. This is filmed in June twenty twenty three. So anytime after this, there's no telling. This could go up. It could go down. It could go all around. Y'all keep that in mind. There's several floor plans to pick from. You've got a five bedroom, a four bedroom, a three bedroom. You can pretty much modify this home into whatever format you want to. Let's get y'all a different angle of this kitchen. It's just absolutely amazing. Look how long that bar is. This looks like that wood right here. It looks like petrified wood to me. They have three stools on this side over here. That is real barn wood that you see. And I'm just in love with this kitchen, guys. I just, I can't get over it. I gotta get out of here. I'll have y'all here all day. Beautiful dining room. Has a nice built-in shelf over here that is gonna allow for you to put, I guess if you had fancy dinnerware or board games or stuff like that, you got a lot of room to put all that stuff. 
I like the floating shelves that are up there. Let's walk right over here though and take a look at the laundry room while we're here. This laundry room does have a sink in it. It does have a work area built in. You can see that you can put your washer and dryer right here, left and right. That's a very nice sink area though, and that's a, that's a big deal for a lot of people. There's your exterior door for the rear. And this is gonna be another home that has like a Jack and Jill style bathroom. The wood shelving too above the washer and dryer is worth noting. So out of the laundry room, there was another door and when you open it, it takes you to a double vanity bathroom. Turn it around where y'all can see. Nice big window right there, lets in plenty of natural light. You can see a single piece shower unit. And there's your toilet. There again, those very nice cabinets are gonna continue in here that are soft close. As you turn around, we called it a Jack and Jill because at the end of the hallway, this would be how you got into this bathroom. But say you were in the bathroom and you had your dirty clothes in here, it'd be very easy to open that door and just toss them right in there. Got a nice closet here with wood shelving. And right here to the right is going to be the first guest bedroom. And wow, it's a big bedroom, guys. It does have carpet in here, beautiful beige carpet. Large crown molding around the ceiling. It does have the baseboards. And even in the guest bedrooms in this home, the wood shelving continues. All of the bedrooms have smoke detectors. All of the bedrooms have that crown molding that was mentioned, and that is much larger than it appears. It's around four inches. So they didn't take any shortcuts in this home, guys. Let's go ahead and go check the next bedroom out and see what it looks like right here to the right. And this is another very large bedroom. Double windows. Got about the same size closet. I don't think your kids would fight over either one of these rooms. They appear to be very similar in size. Step back. Give y'all a pan from this side of the room. Yeah, I'm liking this house a lot. I'd love to see the five bedroom version. Let's see what's inside of this door right here. This is gonna be another big coat closet with the wood racks. Alrighty, we saved the best for last. That's gonna be the master bedroom and the master bath. Let's go check it out. I'm anxious to see the bathroom because to be honest, I haven't walked through this home. I like giving it, giving my uh, initial thoughts on a home before being prepared. You do have two big windows in this room. You got plenty of room for a king size bed or two, <laughs> like you need to, right? And you do have a barn style door that leads to the bathroom. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of this bathroom. I can already see that wood that was in the kitchen in here. Oh my goodness, guys, no way. There is a claw foot bathtub in this bathroom. Who would have thought? Holy cow. Two vanities sitting here. You do have the windows above it. You, that is real wood that's not paneling all the way around. Look at the windows and how they're cased. But that claw foot bathtub is just phenomenal, guys. Holy cow. My wife is going to go nuts when she sees this. It's always been a dream for her to have a nice claw foot bathtub. They did a really good job of putting this tray here because you know as well as I do, there's gonna be a glass of wine on that if you buy this home. You can see your faucet to the side right there coming out of the floor because it is claw foot. Right here's going to be the potty. So you got a nice potty closet for some privacy. And here is your master closet, which is off of the bathroom. Does have the wood shelving in here. Does have natural lighting from the window above. And overall, wow, guys, wow. It never ceases to amaze me. I walk into these homes and I see something new every time I turn around. Take a look at that shower, though. That's really, really nice. Got your shower head up there above it. I like how these windows right here look like they're paned off. Just gives it a little bit more of a finished look. So, y'all saw the price, you saw the home. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. 
If you're new to the channel, please be sure that you're subscribed and follow us to this home tour right over here. This home, we're going to be going to it right up here in this corner box. Click on it and we'll see you guys there.